Good Monday, everybody! I am Hooligan, here again to show you guys some really cool stuff here at the Coffin Comics Shopping Network. Anyways, hope everyone's had a great weekend. Uh, I've been digging around again, finding some more stuff, digging through the archives. That is everything that Brian Polito has ever published, if I can get my hands on it. And um, I also uh, want to start things off with uh, a couple new things um, that I uploaded from Coffin Comics. Uh, but a couple things I want to mention to you is we don't do shout outs. Click on the links. We'll be featuring more stuff on the eBay store. And click on the links to go ahead and pick uh, today's and all the other uh, awesome merchandise we have uh, uploaded in our eBay store. There's also links to sign up for our uh, newsletter, our VIP newsletter. Uh, we have really great events coming up uh, at Coffin Comics. We did a really cool live uh, selling uh, presentation with um, Joel Gomez, the artist of La Muerta. And Jimmy did a really great job. Uh, they were both uh, at home doing live videos, chatting, and we have a lot of really cool remarks and some other stuff for you to check out at the Lady Death store. Also, when you sign up for that uh, VIP newsletter, it'll let you know about things like that, plus other artist celebrations we'll be doing in the future, like coming up soon, Don Taig will be one of the artists we'll be doing a celebration on, so go to the uh, <clears throat> LadyDustStore.com and go ahead and click on that so you're up to date and sign up for our newsletter. Also, uh, while we're on the subject of La Muerta, our Kickstarter for that one will be on May 20th. So definitely join us for that. Should be uh, a really fun event like we always do. And like I say, guys, thank you for supporting Coffin Comics and everything we do. And I hope, again, everyone had a wonderful weekend. It's even an even better Monday. So let's start things off with a new item I have. I've uploaded some Lady Death, Scorched Earth. This is a comic book direct market. Hey, Miguel, how are you? Hey, Lee, how are you? Good to hear from you guys. Thank you for watching. I got uh, about 10 of these up here. This is the standard cover. And I have about 10 of these in stock right now. So definitely check that out. Another really cool new issue I have. I have issue one, Scorched Earth. This is the Boudoir edition. This has been a really hot book. Really hot book. We've had a lot of people requesting this, um, doing lots of orders for them uh, on uh, eBay. I've already sold a couple of these right after I uploaded them. It's a really beautiful piece. Gorgeous. You're welcome. I'm glad you're feeling fabulous. And this, probably one of my favorite, favorite covers we've done recently. This thing is a piece of work. Dun, 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 dun. This is the Scorched Earth premium foil cover. Richard Ortiz is a cover artist. This is just beautiful. The foil skulls in the background just make this piece pop and the purples, just gorgeous piece. I think this is one of the most beautiful direct market uh, foil covers we've offered. Really cool piece. And I got a few of these up on our eBay store and we also have this stuff at the Lady Death store too. So just a couple, a uh, few new items I was able to uh, present to you guys today and upload on the eBay store. Uh, now for some classic stuff that I have been digging around for you guys. I have the Lady Death Warrior Temptress. This is the Fairy Queen cover. Beautiful piece. And Warrior Temptress is a uh, another pinup book. Really nice piece. There was only a thousand published. Hey, Dane, how are you? And another really great cover. This one is, I only have one of these. This is Daniel HDR. This is the Warrior Temptress. 
This is the Monster Queen cover. Beautiful. I love this. Yes, I do do uh, shipping for you guys. Just go ahead and shop on the items you want and um, request an invoice, and I'd be more than happy to combine the shipping for anyone. Thank you for asking. Next up, this is the Lady Death Warrior Princess. This is the ninja cover. I think this is the first time I've ever seen Lady Death in a ninja outfit. As a ninja, this is pretty cool. Hey, Eric Hart, where are you watching from? Out of curiosity, everyone give a shout out where they're watching from. Uh, at home, I know most people, everyone's at home um, watching videos and whatnot. So please give a shout out. Let me know where you're out to, uh, where you're out there uh, watching us from. Ugh. It's totally Monday. Um, I'd like to hear where everyone's viewing this from because it's always great to hear from folks from around the country and in some cases around the world. So thank you for joining me. Next up. Warrior Princess, this is the, uh, or Temptress, I should say. This is the platinum foil cover. I only have a few of these. I love the moon in the background of that. Melbourne, Australia, in the house. Haley, how you doing? Thank you. I think you're probably my one viewer from um, the furthest that I've uh, heard from so far. So thank you, Haley. Again, that is the Platinum Foil Edition, Warrior Temptress, Lady Death. Next up, I have a half issue for The Wicked Half. Richard Ortiz is the cover artist. <laughs> I'm glad you like that, Haley. <laughs> also, everyone can find me at uh, on Facebook on Hooligan Moraga uh, if you want to friend me. And also, um, upload your... Uh, pictures of some of the stuff you like collecting like um it doesn't just have to be you know brian polito related or lady death related but what do you like to cut is it comics is it toys is it horror collectible cards i mean i'd love to see a lot of what the stuff you guys collect i have had a couple people showed me their collections uh in photos and it's always awesome to see and kind of um get an idea of what everyone is um has a passion for, um, and that's one thing I love about um, comics and this whole genre of, of, of books and cards and whatnot. Fandom's great, and I love it when watching fans sharing their collections with each other. It's always a blast, and it's, it's always fun. So thank you guys who have been sending me those photos. We have another Lady Death, The Wicked Half issue. This is the bondage cover, another Richard Ortiz. My wonderful... Uh, Cameraman, the great Jacob Powell, is back home in Michigan, um, Flint, Michigan to be exact, and it's really nice that he was here to help me out and do some amazing camera work. So Jacob, shout out to you. Ace, welcome back, man. How are you? How was your weekend? Hey, my wife is watching. Hi, baby. <laughs> I don't know if you caught that background. That's her... Uh, in the bedroom yelling out hi <laughs> this is the uh lady death half the wicked this is the commemorative edition by juan jose rip ace did you do anything fun this weekend your head's cut off i know <laughs> if i go up any higher you'll catch the roof <laughs> so that's a little jig. It's a really tight fit here in my living room with everything. So next week I'll do a more extreme pullout so you guys can actually see my face. I decided to shave this weekend. Um, looked a little scruffy, so I decided, eh, let's give myself a baby face for a little while. Change things up. Next up we have another half issue of The Wicked. This is the Hellcat cover. Another Richard Ortiz piece. And all these things are on the eBay store. Um, I've been featuring them the last uh, three weeks, and I will have even more stuff to add uh, later on for y'all. Um, pulling out a lot of really cool stuff. I'm actually making my way to all the different uh, cross-gen books I have. So uh, stay tuned. Hopefully I'll have those up and ready to go by next week. 
And right here we have another premium half issue for Lady Death the Wicked. This is the Matt Martin cover. It's really great dramatic pose. And these little uh, creature things are very um, HP Lovecraft fish. Very creepy monsters. Look at that nasty blue eye. Ugh. Here is another Juan Jose Rip uh, cover. This is another half issue of The Wicked. Oh, right on. I'm glad you had a good weekend, Ace. Oh, you got to talk to Brian on the Facebook. Nice. Yeah, I love the uh, little updates uh, Brian does on the Facebook page. It's great. It really, like I say, uh, one of our things we do at Coffin Comics is we really bring the curtain down and with the creators and, and Brian, with the fans, you know, we, we really try to get you guys inclusive in everything we do. And um, I think that's why um, people love us and are as loyal to us because, you know, there ain't no games with us. We actually are as legit as can be. And Brian's one of the most legit people you can work for in the industry. So I'm glad you had that happen for you, man. Here we go, another Wicked Half. This is a sexy cover by Juan Jose Rip. That is very smoldering. Again, I, I just love watching a lot of these artists um, have really evolved. Um, and just watching their art just change up uh, with each year as I go through these books and I see a lot of these uh, artists and cover artists just seeing their their art just just improve and, and they, their craft is just getting better and better it's, it's it's a lot of fun to watch all right look at half this is uh <laughs> size doesn't matter cover and there's lady death taking out a giant giant this is a matt martin cover Yeah, everyone, friend me over at Hooligan Moraga on Facebook. And um, please, all, like I say, show me pictures of your collection. I want to see what your passion is, what you collect, and what you've been doing to occupy your time uh, if you've been in quarantined in your home. So, you know, send me a message. Let me know what's going on in your world. This is the uh, Lady Death, the Wicked, number one. This is the Hedonist cover. Verera is the artist. Another really nice piece. Let's see. Some of really, really cool stuff. We have another Wicked Half. This is the Victory cover. Some of these in stock. Issue one, this is the Adrian cover. Everything I'm showing you guys here is on the eBay store, so click, 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 shop, shop, shop. Um, just to let you guys know, some of this stuff I have very low inventory on uh, until I find more. So again, some of these I only have one copy. Um, if I'm lucky, I have more. Um, but I'll definitely, if I find more, I will definitely upload more. So thank you everyone for scooping up a lot of the cool books I've uh, been presenting here for the last uh, few weeks. And I've sold out of quite a few stuff. So thank you very much, everybody. It's another Wicked number one. This is a commemorative cover of Richard Ortiz. Another beautiful piece. Richard does a lot of work for us these days also. It's great to see a lot of familiar names from the past still with us today uh, at Coffin Comics. Another Wicked number one. This is another Ortiz cover. This is the Conflict cover. They did have taken on that wear beast right there. And some of these... Uh, Books also have uh, limited numbers on them. Uh, some are limited to a thousand, some even less than that. So it's really cool that they're noted uh, on the covers or on the COAs if I have those COAs uh, with the books. So next up, 
So Rafa Lopez, this is the issue one deity one. There was a limit of a thousand of these published. This is the direct attack again by Rafa Lopez. This was limited to a thousand copies. We have a few of these on the eBay store right now for your reading pleasures. Another Matt Martin cover. This is a wicked one. Ace, I will totally accept that friend advice. Um, <laughs> that friend uh, request. Thank you very much, man. And uh, when I do it, definitely uh, shoot me a picture of your uh, your favorite collectible or collectibles, man. It can be a comic, toy, statues. I've seen some glorious statues. Model kits, too. Um, model kits are a lot of fun. I wish I was good at making them, um, but I'm not. But I actually found a model kit um, that I'm going to try to work on uh, while I'm working from home on my downtime. So uh, if it turns out good, I'll show it to you all. If not, <laughs> I'll just have someone put a firecracker in it and blow it up. Lady Death Wicked, this is the premium cover. Another Richard Ortiz piece. Another Richard Ortiz piece. This is the wrap cover. And again, I love these wrap covers. They are just really cool pieces of art. It's beautiful pieces, beautiful art. Wraps all the way around the cover. Beautiful, beautiful pieces. Also, here's one that um, I had mentioned, but I forgot to show the Dark Horizons. I love this cover. This is the Matt Martin one. And I just dig those frogs. <laughs> it's hanging out with like these giant frogs. This is awesome. This is just a really, this, this piece really caught my eye. There's just something about the coloring and, and, you know, I've never seen Lady Death with frogs before. And this is just a really cool cover. I really enjoy the, the colors on the frogs. It's a really cool piece of art. Really nice piece. Another one that I forgot to upload for y'all. This is the um, Lady Death Boundless 9 wrap cover. It's another Richard Ortiz piece. It's not Richard Ortiz. This is Gabriel... Uh, Gabriel Andre. Gabriel Andre cover. This is gorgeous. Just a really awesome cover. And I love the framing work all around the art piece. So I have a few of these uploaded here at the eBay store. All right, medieval lady death fans. I started up, I got my hands on the av old Avatar stuff, and I'm making my way to cross-gen. So right now, this is the Diamorum cover, Medieval Lady Death, Fear Her Wrath, number one. Dude, if you're into music, heck yeah, I want to see your music collection. Uh, yeah, dude, what I'm into... Um, my father's a musician, he's a bass player, and uh, Ace, um, I used to be a music snob when I was younger, it was only had to be like punk rock or hardcore, or stuff like that. And as I got older, uh, I remember my dad um, telling me uh, that it's, it's a shame to be a music snob because there's so much good music that don't not listen to a certain genre of music because you think it's lame listen it for the music and um i like a little bit of everything but i really love like punk rock uh hardcore punk um i love horror rock um psychobilly 
love rockabilly. I love old country western, um, blues. I really love old blues recordings and a bunch of other stuff, bluegrass. Um, I figure since I opened my ears up to all the different types of music, um, I, I think I've benefited. So I'm always willing to uh, try new stuff from folks. So if you have some recommendations, send them my way, brother. I'd love to see what you, uh, what you like. So thank you. I, I like sharing music with folks. Another medieval death. This is the number two Bring It On cover. And I love, now I'm going to try to say this. This is from Palo Secura. Um, I hope I, I'm sure I'm butchering his name, but I really love, he gave that face so much character. It's like she's ready for that battle and she's loving it. It's really great, great cover. I really like the, um, in, in the uh, Medieval Lady Death series, her costuming is very, very neat and of the time. Um, it's really beautiful. The ca Her cape is beautiful. Just, I mean, look at this. This is the issue two Serenity cover. Just look at that costume. It's beautiful. It's really beautiful. And you got a really good piece by Paulo. I don't want to butcher his name, so I won't attempt to say it, but uh, this Paulo guy, I really like looking at his covers and how his art has just evolved over the the years while doing, uh, loading up these books on uh, eBay. Just a lot of really fun stuff I've been seeing. Like I say, a lot of this stuff is very low stock, so once I'm out, I'm out. Uh, unless I find more, if I do find more, I will definitely upload them, but as of now, everything I'm uploading, this is... This is probably it. So just a heads up. If you see something, click, get it. There's been some folks scooping up a ton of this stuff. So I don't know how long it will last. So if you see stuff you like, click on it. Um, they're all really great prices. And definitely uh, me um, if you friend me over on um, my Facebook page, Hooligan Moraga. Um, message me and um, I'll see if there's anything else I can find for you. Um, like I say, I'll do my best, but a lot of this stuff, this is it. Once she's done, she's done. Another Middle East, um, <laughs> Medieval Lady Death. This is issue two. It's also the Avatar series. I am making my way to all of the cross-gen Medieval Lady Death books. I don't go to as many concerts as I used to, Ace. Um... One of the prices on concert tickets are outrageous. Um, I tend to definitely like going to shows at small clubs and venues like that. Um, I don't know, it seems that I could be have a, a lot more enjoyable time either up to the stage and get crushed or, you know, stay in the middle where the pits are and those always are fun to watch. Um, but usually since I'm getting up there in years, I'll just lean back towards the back and just kick back, enjoy the show and watch people. What was the last concert you went to? Um, I believe the last one I went to was Revan Horton Heat um, last year, so it's been a while. Got Medieval, Medieval Lady Death. This is number three, Castle Burning. I believe this is a Wellington Giovanni. Really cool piece. Like I said, this is all the cool stuff I'm finding in my archival digs and all cool things that is at Coffee Comics HQ. I miss my office. All right. Medieval Lady Death, number three. This is the powerful cover, Daniel HDR. There was only 1500s of this published. This is also a really nice piece and I love that skull. I used to collect a lot of skulls, I remember that. Lots of skulls. Skull artwork, little skull uh, statues, stuff like that. Uh, my wife collects bones, so we have a huge bone collection for whenever we go camping. Um, right where we're at, it's in between two two mountain ranges and a lot of things washed down in there, including uh, all the bones. So we find a lot of bones and we probably have, I don't know, display case full pretty much. It looks like something... Um, you would see in like a uh, barbarian thing, just a mountain of skeletons <laughs> and big broadswords in it. 
That's my uh, that's the display case of the bones. Oh, here we go. Another platinum foil cover, Medieval Lady Death 3. This is the platinum foil. Don't have very many of the platinum foils, but when I do, I will uh, definitely put them up there. I hope I can find some more. One of these things are really gorgeous. Um, and next week, I'm going to show you one, uh, a prison cover I ran across. Um, going through everything to upload for next week's uh, show on Monday. Really cool prism cover and uh, a gold cover. So some pretty neat stuff um, that I'll be presenting to you guys. So I'm really excited and hope you all see it. There we go another Medieval Lady Death. This is number three. This is the premium cover by Paolo. Nightwish. I actually saw Nightwish um, 12 years ago. So they're a really good band to see live. I was impressed. It's not my, my genre of music, but man, um, really, really good stuff. Really beautiful music. Here we go. Lady Death. The Medieval Lady Death. This is the number three rap cover. Really love the piercing blue eyes they, they gave her on this cover. It's really beautiful. Also, it is a wrap cover. So again, she's got beautiful artwork right there. But yeah, those eyes they gave her are just beautiful. Beautiful. Whoops. Yeah, this is the Ron Adrian did this cover. It's really I really love the eyes he gave her in this. It's just, ooh, very beautiful. Daryl HDR did this one. This is issue four, Peaceful. There was only a thousand of these printed. I really love the uh, Celtic cross it has right there. Just all the beautiful engravings. It's a really nice piece, really nice work. There we go. You might be correct on that. Um, that name sounds familiar for the singer of the band at that show I went to, so I believe that was it, yes. Here we go, number four, Medieval Lady Death. This is the Grace cover. Another Daniel HDR. Great, great piece. Lots of beautiful books. Speaking of um, cool and beautiful things, um, we have reopened... Um, we like to call it it's the Lady Death. I'm going to try to say it without butchering it. Malevolent Decimation. Last Chance Pop-Up Crypt. We just uh, popped up today on the LadyDeathStore.com. Um, this store is intended for uh, those who missed uh, out on the Kickstarter. Um, if you did back us on this Kickstarter, definitely go and uh, check your email for the backer survey invitation. Uh, we sent out today, and you will be able to purchase the, the items we'll be showing on there that way. If you haven't uh, backed the Kickstarter, this is your last chance to get some really gorgeous pieces we have left. Uh, some beautiful prints, uh, 11 by 17s, and I think there might even be uh, fine art ones. Uh, also, the uh, premium edition is available, so definitely go to the Lady Death store and check out the cool stuff. It is the Lady Death Malevolent Decimation Last Chance Pop-Up Crypt. Check it out if you weren't able to back us on that thing on uh, that. Excuse me. If you weren't able to back us on that Kickstarter, this is your chance to get some of the last stuff that we have to offer. And that's it. So this is a great opportunity for you to pick up something in case you're like, oh, you know, I've never checked out their Kickstarter. I know they have a new one coming up. And I missed out on the other one. 
uh, on chapter 11, malevolent decimation, well, this is your chance to get some of those stuff. So go to the ladydeathstore.com, go ahead and we have it here on the link. So definitely click on it so you can go on there and check out the stuff and scoop up some stuff before they're gone. Uh, again, we have another Kickstarter for La Muerta on uh, May 20th. So um, click on to the newsletter, VIP newsletter, so you can get notifications on what we have planned on there um, for that a Kickstarter event. Uh, and also really cool artist celebrations we got coming up. We did one with Joel Gomez and Don McTague is coming up next. So go to the Lady Death Store, click on the links that we have here and check out all the great stuff and the really fun, entertaining stuff we are putting out there for you guys um, during this um, really weird uh, situation we're all in together. So uh, we've been trying to keep uh, our, our YouTube channel going. Check out our YouTube channel, Coffin Comics TV. Go ahead and subscribe. We're always uploading great videos and fun things. Um, the rebroadcast of this show is on there as well. So if you miss out on Mondays, you can also catch a rebroadcast uh, there and on, on <coughs> excuse me, on some of our other uh, streaming channels. Um, real quick, I'm gonna grab a quick drink of water because I'm losing my voice. <clears throat> oh, Ace, thank you for doing the survey. Thank you one. And definitely, you guys, if you did get our backer surveys in your email, if you backed us on Kickstarter, please fill that out. Fill that information and send it back to us, please. That's what we're here for. We want that information. We want those backer kit stuff. So definitely, please, please, please fill out them surveys. Thank you. All right. And I think those surveys are going to be a lot more fun than census surveys. So I don't know. I think it would be a fun thing to do. Next up, Lady Death, Medieval Lady Death. This is issue five. This is the premium cover by Carlos Ferreira. <laughs> Where's the beer? Um, I have no beer. I am, I am beerless today. No beer, but I did have a wonderful brew this weekend on uh, Saturday. So yum, yum in my tongue. Uh, here we go. This is Medieval Lady Death. This is a Juan Jose rip. This is the Stoic Beauty. There was only a thousand of these pop. Really awesome piece. I think of all the different um, Juan Jose covers I've shown. Um, I think this is one of my favorites. Um, I just really just loved. I, I get lost in his, in his line work. Uh, I, I just find myself staring at it. And my eye just follows along and finds all these, um, you know, characters in the background and, and the textures of their, 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 their cloth and their, their armory and stuff like that. I really get lost in this guy's work. And um, he's always caught my eye. I always remember when I was doing my diamond catalogs when I used to do retail, um, I always went to his covers and always ordered his covers uh, when I was doing the avatar section of the order catalog because I just really enjoyed just staring off at his art. It was just something about it. It's just so beautiful to me um, that I, I had to order copies and I would try to do my best to sell the hell out of them because I just thought they were amazing and they always sold. So I'm glad it worked. It, it shows that if you really love something that, that you you see you know, you're going to pimp it and you just want to show it to the world. Next up is Medieval Lady Death, number six. I believe I have this one on the eBay store for about, um, say, four, five dollars roughly. Yeah, really nice piece. I love the dragon. He, it's just like, wow. It's a, it looks like a mix of Fing, Fing Fang Foom with King Ghidorah and um, oh, there's another character, Smaug. There's something about that character. I, I love that dragon. Another Juan Jose rip cover. This is the issue six fierce cover. Again, only a thousand of these were made. 
again, I just get so lost. I even get lost in the trees and the leaves. There's just something about this man's work that I just really enjoy looking at. I also like that he did um, some of the uh, slasher comics that Brian wrote that um, I don't have many, but um, once I figure out how many I exactly have and if I have any available to put on eBay, I will. Um, but I, I, I really just love the man's work. And here we are again. Another Juan Jose cover. This is the uh, Foreign Beauty. Really nice piece. Bye, Haley. Thank you for joining us, and I uh, hope you're feeling better. All right. Next up, I have issue six of Medieval Lady Death. This is the premium cover. Glad folks uh, like listening to me ramble on. <laughs> um, I like to kind of make it feel like when you're watching our channel, you're actually you know hanging out with us or having a great conversation. You know, I love uh, I love a lot of the weird questions and stuff like that. I I, I get to hear from you all, so uh, I hope you guys uh, are enjoying um, their presentations we're doing every Monday because I like doing it. Medieval death. Uh, <laughs> Medieval Death. Medieval Lady Dead. This is the issue six wrap cover. And this one is a really cool battle cover. These wrap covers are great. And this is the uh, Wellington Alves. There's that dragon. Weird beast. Really cool, cool, cool. This is the issue seven of Medieval Lady Death. This is the charged cover. Again, only a thousand were published. And I believe the artist's name is Di Amorum. That's Di Amorum. Hi, Caleb. How you doing, man? How are things in uh, Michigan? Ramble On is a Damn good song. Oh, here we go. Another platinum foil. Another platinum foil. This is issue seven. Again, I don't have many platinums or golds, but when I do, I love to show these off. Look at that. The gauntlets. The belt. The teeth on his belt, the um, the charms or jewels right there on his chest plate, and the hilt or the uh, scarab blades. It's really cool. I love foil covers. I really do. I think these this uh, foil covers and hollow foil covers and stuff like that. They really have always caught my eye um, and that's one thing I love about coffin is is we do these really cool holographic covers and we still do the premium foils for a lot of our new books like in case you missed that this is the most recent one we've done this is again the scorched art earth premium cover Richard Ortiz piece Just love those skulls just freaking awesome Oh. So as you see, we, we carry on um, a lot of the cool traditions um, from the 90s. You know, we try to do, you know, lots of cool variant covers. I mean, this is just, we, we keep the tradition alive. It's really great stuff to look at. It's really fun uh, working for a publisher um, to see all the cool stuff that, that we're going to be presenting and coming out with um, 
to show the public and, and all our backers and fans and the fiends and the sworn. I mean, it's like Christmas every day in the office when we get to see some of the newest stuff Brian shows in. And he does a little tease presentation. He's like, oh, you want to see what, what Adam Hughes did? Oh, oh, look at that. Look at that. It's like, oh, my God. Even in the office, the man is a showman. <laughs> even when he's just showing you some of the, the cool stuff he's got coming out and, and even his great ideas and his stories, it's just the guy's got a lot of passion for it. And I think that shows with just how he produces and how he presents his books. Um, the guy's a madman, and he's a lot of fun to work with. Here we go. Medieval Lady Death. Issue 7, premium cover, but Daniel XDR! There you go. There's my metal voice for y'all. <laughs> Hope y'all like that. And really great piece. And the, the paper quality on these covers, the premium covers, is really nice, high gloss. I don't know if it catches it, but it's really nice, hard cover stock. Very glossy. Very beautiful. Very beautiful paper. Oh, another medieval lady death. This is uh, by Di, uh, Di Amorium. This is issue eight. Again, all this stuff here is all on our eBay store. Um, we do things differently here at the Coffin Comics Shopping Chan uh, Network. Um, you'll see the links. Click on those, and that'll take you to. Um, Different links we have on the products we're offering you. There's a link to the uh, Lady Death store on there. There's the top link is for the eBay store, which is everything I've been presenting uh, while working from home for uh, for the last uh, few weeks. And also uh, from there, you can see the links to uh, signing up for our newsletters and all the other cool things, and see a lot of the cool stuff we're offering. And the newsletter is really informative. It's if you print it, it's literally pages long. And it's, Jimmy's always updating it every week. That man is just adding so much to that newsletter. It just shows that we are really dedicated to you guys, the fans, the fiends, and the sworn, and anyone else that's crazy enough to join us in this madcap world of comics, especially the madcap world of coffee comics. Next up, I have the Medieval Lady Death Issue 8 Anguish cover. There was only a thousands published of these. And it's Diamorum. A switch cover, was it the one, was it the Scorched Earth uh, premium foil you have? Or the, um, what was it, the Medieval Lady Death one? Don't be afraid to ask questions, folks. Shout out. Um, you to say hey. I definitely like hearing where everyone's viewing is from. Uh, we had a wonderful viewer all the way out in Australia, down under. Um, so thank you, Haley, for joining us. And uh, Miguel, uh, I saw you popped up earlier. Um, thank you, everyone, for joining us each week. Uh, Ace, love you, man. I can't wait to meet you at Swarmfest. Midi Livio Lady Death. This is a premium cover by Daniel HDR. A really nice piece. Again, this is the premium cover, so they have very high quality cover stock. It's a very thick card stock, and it's high gloss, so it's a really nice, nice, nice books. Really beautiful books. Definitely something um, you definitely maybe want to put in a um, either in a bag and board, and I'd even put it in a nice top loader too, just to. Stop them from getting dinged uh, when you accidentally move things. Because I'm a klutz, so trust me. Um, always make sure you give that extra protection uh, for your comics. Oh, here we go. Here we go. This is the Medieval Lady Death Belladonna issue. This is the first issue. One of the few covers I have to show you for this series. Again, really gorgeous art. Daniel HDR did the interiors. 
really beautiful books, especially if you're into like fantasy, horror. We're the we have a, a lot of these uh, cool books for you. Everything here is located on the eBay store. Just click on the links and check it out. Here we go, another cool platinum foil. Medieval Lady Death Belladonna. Don't have very many of these. So if you see something you like, go to the um, go to the, the eBay Coffin Comics eBay store, and this is where you'll find this stuff. I do not have a lot of stock, so click on that link if you see something you like and go right to that eBay store and make your purchase, check things out. Uh, see all the other fun stuff that I've uploaded for y'all. Another really cool item is the Medieval uh, Lady Death Winds, uh, War of the Winds, issue one. I don't have many of these books, by the way. Very few of the War of the Winds. So what I posted on the eBay store uh, for stock that's probably gonna be it for the foreseeable future unless I again, um, when we get back to HQ, when everything's done here in lockdown, to uh, go through and dig through some more boxes and just find some even more crazier stuff. Um, I still have tons of trading cards uh, that I need to uh, uh, get on there. So I'll be putting a lot of really fun, interesting stuff on the eBay store. Um, like again, a lot of the stuff will be very limited stock. So once it's gone, that's it, it's done for. Um, so I hope you guys are enjoying a lot of the presentation. This is the Medieval Lady Death War of the Winds 5. You see, I do not have a lot of these. Oh, that Scorched, yeah, dude, that premium foil Scorched Earth cover is gorgeous, man. Um, remember when we got that uh, from the printers? That was just, that, I, I knew that book was a stunner. That book was just, people were going to eat that up, and they have been. Um, Bordure, the Bordure cover and the um, premium foil covers have really been selling like hotcakes. So if you like them, uh, you, like I say, you can find them on our eBay store or you can even find them at store.com. Those are the two places you're going to find those amazing covers and you're getting them right from the source, Coffin Comics. So check it out. Another uh, Medieval Lady Death number five. This is the uh, battle cover. Diamorum. And last, definitely not least, is the number five. This is the poise cover. There's only 750 of these made. And I just really love this piece. I mean, she's got like arrows stuck in her shoulder armor and everything and like that ain't stopping her she's still gonna kick some butt i'm gonna excuse myself for one quick second while i grab another uh fill up my glass of water and get some drinks in uh i'll be right back Excuse me. Hello, hello. I'm back again. Thank you for your patience. And um, we got 10 more minutes. But I kind of want to tease you all a little bit with um, two covers that I, I, I got all giddy when I got to uh, take pictures and upload them. And these will be on next week's show. I only have one of each. I'm still debating whether to do them as bids or have one of each 
I was looking all over for more. I don't have them, but I got to show you. This is going to be on next Monday's show. The Belladonna number one. This is a gold foil cover. This thing is groovy. So this is just a precursor to next Monday. But that's not all. The next cool thing I had was there was a prism cover in the boxes I dug up. I only have one of each of these, and that's it. Um, I haven't decided to do a buy now or a bid. I'm probably leaning towards bids because I was having a heck of a time trying to get uh, information on these covers. Um, like, I couldn't very find very many that were sold. Um, but these are just some really groovy, groovy covers. Especially that prism one. I, I the camera and the light in my in my living room is just not giving it justice. But yeah, these are going to be on next week's show. Um, and these are just groovy. Yeah, Miguel, they are bitching. I was so so giddy to look at these. It's like oh my gosh. Um, I only have one of each. They will be up on the eBay store next Monday. Uh, along with some other cool stuff, including uh, Bad Moon Rising Special Number Ones. Um, really cool book. I, I, I hope I get some number twos to present to y'all. But what I have on for the Avatar, the Cross Gens, and some of the old Chaos stuff I've been presenting to you guys for the last few weeks, this is it. Um, once they're gone, that's it. Um, I do have some back stock of um, older Chaos stuff, but... A majority of what I've been presenting the last two weeks, there's there's nothing left that I have found yet. Uh, but so far, I've done lots of digging and I've gone through a lot of boxes uh, and I haven't been able to find anymore. So this is just, uh, like I say, two groovy covers that I'll be uh, uploading uh, next Monday for next Monday show. We'll be doing more eBay features, but I, I just had to tease you guys. These are just really groovy covers. Um, also, uh, Lady Death Store. Uh, check it out. Sign up for our VIP newsletter because we've been doing a lot of really cool artist celebrations um, with a lot of the talent at Coffin Comics. Last week we did uh, Joel Gomez, who was really doing some amazing original art pieces and just you know really great interview uh, with Jimmy was doing uh, with him, just you know telling you about. The, the whole process of, of uh, creating La Muerta and the storylines and, and just just how the grittiness of his art really fits the mood of that story. Um, and that was a really great presentation on um, last Friday. Coming up, Don McTague is our next one we're doing our artist celebration. So go to the Lady Death Store, click on the link that you see here for the Lady Death Store, sign up for our newsletter because that's a great opportunity. We're presenting a lot of really cool shows and a lot of cool stuff to sell since shops have been um, temporarily, you know, in a lot of places um, closed. So we're really trying to show you guys a lot of stuff since everyone's at home, working from home, doing school at home. So we're really putting a lot of cool stuff out there to show you guys and uh, keep you entertained. Um, we really have some wonderful artists, we have wonderful stories, we have wonderful characters, and we cannot do it without you guys. So thank you everyone that has been supporting us, uh, Kickstarters, um, on the eBay store, at the Lady Death store, even the shops that have ordered our stuff uh, from us to put in their racks. Thank you so much everyone. It's been uh, great putting this stuff out there for you. It's been great um, working on this end of the comic book side on the public. Lot of fun to see uh, how things are done uh, on the publishing end as opposed because that's mostly of all that I got to see uh, in my 26 years of working in comics um, <clears throat> again go to the links that we have posted everything you've seen today <coughs> oh gosh excuse me are all things I've uploaded on the eBay store um, these two are teased for next Monday ha um, some other cool things um, I'm going to try to have uploaded for next Monday is uh, some of the slasher comics Brian wrote. Um, uh, he did the Friday the 13th. Um, there was also um, a 
couple Nightmare uh, on Elm Street books he worked on. But all that stuff, if I have it, whatever I have left, because that stuff is super hot, I will definitely be putting it on the eBay store. Uh, although, granted, they are very limited quantities, very limited. So anything you see here or in the last show or the year show before that, go to those links, click on it, pick up what you want. I am out of some of the stuff I showed on the last two shows, but I have hundreds more that are still available on the eBay store. I think I have uploaded about 267 individual items, um, everything from buttons, pins, uh, graphic novels, our newest publications, um, the Lady Death chapters one through 10, the premiere editions, all of these great stuff we produce here at Coffin Comics are there on our eBay store and also there by going to ladydeathstore.com and checking them out. I'm just gonna take another quick drink before I lose my breath, before I wrap things up with y'all. So I've got five more minutes. Miguel, how's your uh, leg healing? I hope you're healing up well. Thank you for sharing the uh, photos of you getting that cast off. Last time we saw you uh, during our uh, Lady Death Kickstarter event, um, you were uh, cruising around in a wheelchair. And, um, it was great seeing you, it was great seeing your son, and great seeing everyone who came out. We, we really had a good time. Uh, I was in our little shop, a little gift shop we have at Coffin Comics, and it was great to see all the familiar faces and a lot of new ones that I hadn't seen before. So one thing that's great about Coffin Comics is we really like to um, interact with our customers, uh, our fans, and both the Sworn and the Fiends. So again, thank you guys. Uh, what we have here is everything I have uploaded uh, on our eBay store uh, today. Also, there will be every Monday I will be uploading new stock. Um, for the show and until I run out and then I'm gonna have to get really creative and find some fun stuff for you uh, but I still got quite a few boxes full of great stuff that's been uh, written by Brian Polito uh, over the years it's a lot of fun to see uh, just Brian's work over the decades um, while I'm going through this stuff and presenting this stuff a lot of fun stuff I read the uh, Bad Moon Rising that he did that I'll be showing you guys some of those next week. And that was uh, pretty gritty. And I, if anyone has an issue two, please send me issue two so um, <laughs> I can read it. Because I really like that character. Uh, Blackjack, uh, Blackjack Hatchet was his name. And his axe, Mabel. Cool story, uh, Western supernatural story. I really enjoyed it. Um, I'm looking forward to finding hopefully issue two so I can continue reading it. Um, I don't think there was very, I think it was one of those mini series uh, that Brian had done um, this time at Avatar. Again, everything here has been on the eBay store. I've uploaded for you guys this week. Um, my name's Hooligan Moraga. I'm here for you. And thank you again for watching. I hope everyone has a wonderful, amazing week. Hope they have an even better weekend. And remember, we are sworn to you. And thank you, all the fiends, all the sworn, all the fans. Thank you so much. We appreciate everything you do for us. We appreciate every day we get to present cool, groovy stuff. We make good comics for all you bad girls and boys out there. Uh, I'll talk to you next week. I'll see you Monday. Thank you again. And have a wonderful, wonderful Monday. Bye, all. Oh, wait, I still got a couple minutes. So I still have a couple minutes. Um, some other stuff I'm hoping to find for next week. Um, some misfis, uh, Mischief Night issues I have, I'll have. i be uploading uh, for next week's show. Um, different variant covers and um, whatnot that they had published that Brian had written. Um, looking forward to um, maybe do some reading into those books. I really liked the... Uh, the premise uh, of it so check it out next week i got a lot of really cool stuff for you again i'm hooligan thank you very much everybody we're sworn have a great monday bye